Hello and welcome in this WP Adminify introduction video. I am Jamie and I am going to show you in details about WP Adminify, how it works and what you will get. So let's begin. After WP Adminify installation and activation, your dashboard will be look something like this one. So that's our default UI and here you can see the top bar here is a toggle option for dark mode and light mode you can just toggle it for dark mode and revert back to light mode then here is the i button it's for navigate to your home page then here you will see your installed plugin options like performance i have installed double three total cache that's why you are seeing performance tab here and then wp adminify options panel also you can see wp adminify on this menu bar so let's navigate to our wp adminify first option this is our main wp adminify options panel you can enable or disable any modules from this area for example let's enable this quick menu and disable this folder and save it and then you can see the customize option and from this customize option you can select your desired body font and then font style then font color and also you can change the body color for example let's select gradient and direction top to bottom uh, okay corner top to right and then shape and let me just reload so that you can see the changes okay here is our quick menu appearing with a nice effect and this is our body customization it's our quick menu and it's our gradient background also you can select image slideshow or video as you prefer okay let's just stick with our default color and navigate to dark and light mode you can select your light logo one for the dark mode dark logo and define font size and enable schedule dark mode you can define system dark mode or you can define some start and in time for your schedule system let's just disable everything and navigate to admin footer okay this area you can see some content here for example this copyright and then all of this content this content can be controlled from this admin footer option and then navigate to menu settings okay that's a interesting part of wp identify let's select horizontal menu save and let me reload and you will see something new that you haven't seen before okay now you can see our horizontal menu is here all options panel and everything and you will get a use work area so that's our horizontal menu you can stick on vertical menu also vertical menu has different system for example active menu is still rounded then the uh, classic icon menu mode then you can also enable user info and let's save and let's just reload and you can see a different shape for all of this active menu style if you click on dashboard then you will see this type of rounded style and it's our user info then let's just navigate to admin bar you can enable or disable front end admin bar and also control admin bar position if you select bottom then this full area will be on this bottom part and also disable this search icon for example this one then the comment icon and then view website icon and light and dark button all of this can be controlled from this admin bar then tweaks you will get a lot of tweaks available for head, feed, HTTP response, WP JSON API comments, post archive, attachment and performance. If you need to remove WordPress generator version, which is available on your header page source, uh, it's just show your WordPress versions and some other necessary information. You can just enable it and get rid of this generator version. That's it. And then navigate to widget settings you can remove your unwanted wizards from this dashboard wizard area and from sidebar widget you can also remove your unwanted sidebar widget too and make sure the 
it will not work on your Gutenberg editor. So if you just enable this one, then you will revert back to your classic sidebar editor. And let's just keep this default and then admin notice. First, you may notice I have a clean dashboard, no welcome widget, no plugin notices, though I have installed Elementor, then W3 Total Cache, uh, I have no notices available in my area. It's because I have enabled hide all admin notices. If I just uh, disable it, and then I can see all of Elementor or W3 Total Cache notices here. As I prefer a clean dashboard, I like to hide all admin notices always. When I need to check notices, I like to visit this notice page and check is notices. Let's navigate to model settings and enable folders for. Okay. Here you will see a couple of options. For example, post type order, folder status color, and quick menu. And this one, you can add unlimited quick menu available here and everything will be appeared here and then disable comment you can disable comments for your page post and also remove unwanted comment related option for example uh, remove comments from attachment you can remove your attachment comments then hide existing comments everything is possible from this disable comments option and then google page speed it's just a api key option when you will go to use this page speed insights you need to input your Google PageSpeed API key. I recommend you to click on this documentation URL and it will redirect you to our website how to create a Google API key. And then duplicate post. You can enable post duplication for uh, page or landing page. I mean any post type. You can duplicate any post type using this WP Identify features. Then activity logs. Just define how many days you like to keep your wordpress activity inside our activity logs module you can see activity logs here just navigate to this one and you will see activity logs and then navigate to asset manager if you think you don't need element icons or icon moon theme five icons then you just select and save it will prevent uh, loading them in your front end and it will speed up your web page and then custom CSS and JS. You know how to use this one. So there is no more talk. And the main interesting part is white label. You can use your own logo. It's our plugin white label. You can use your own logo. Then the plugin name. You can type your company name. And then the description. Then the developer name. The plugin URL. Level and hide plugin raw meta links you can hide all of these links to remove external links and then the main interesting part is if you enable this one and save it then this full white level will be gone but your data will be stored as white level there will be no admin five branding nothing also this white level option will be gone and no one can sense it but if you like to get back white level option you have to deactivate the wp admin plugin and activate it again by this way you will get to access white level and change the information on your nets and it's the backup if you like to import or export anything about the plugin settings and import your another website then use this option okay and it's all about the adminify plugin option now let's talk about this module for example you can see dashboard widget okay this is our dashboard widget area let's just add a new widget and name it test widget and for let's give it editor this is just a test widget and let's save it and also you can modify your welcome widget just enable it you can design your welcome widget by elementor template just select your template or your default page you have to select your page and save it now if i reload our main dashboard let me just reload and show you 
here is our welcome widget that is dismissible you can see i have selected this sample page and all sample pages content are here it's our welcome widget and test widget you can see this is a test widget whatever i have typed here comes here this is how the dashboard widget works and then the custom css shares it's a snippet you can type header custom js and you can select a specific post for example i would like to select it in introducing wp25 dashboard customers this post and on before content and it will apply for only desktop and the code will be js and i will paste or write my js here that will be applied for only this post before content so by this way you can create unlimited snippet and put your necessary code or ads everything you need and then our sidebar generator you can create a new sidebar this is a new sidebar and save it it will be stored in your appearance and widget here you will see this sidebar area and then roll back after updating wp identify if you notice anything broken then you can also revert back to the previous version just select your previous version and reinstall it and then server information it's a critical part and very important part for the developer you can check the stxs file php INI file robot text and the error logs this is the most important part you can check each and every error logs for your WordPress website without accessing to your cPanel or your FTP server. You can check and refresh it and also clear the file content. For security purpose, we have not enabled the edit access for HT access or PSP any or robot.txt. So I hope you got it how you can use this server information wisely. For your development purpose and now if i scroll down you will see notification bar it's just a module and then page speed insights is the google page speed insight and login customizer you can customize your website login page using this and let's just i am going to show you the admin column and menu editor activity logs and admin page and we will discuss about the notification bar login customizer in details in a specific video because these two modules is too large and it has these two modules has too many options that is impossible to explain within just a short video i am trying to provide you a, a best overview of wp25 within this short video let me just close all of these tabs okay our admin column is loaded and you can see the post page landing page called date publish date okay just skip my typo and save it or let's just delete categories too okay let me delete just category and save again and reload this one you will see category and author will be gone instead of author okay you can see our publish date and everything is gone it's just clean your admin control is on your hand not only this post type but also you can control the taxonomy admin column too you can just hover on this category or tax just click on this category and delete for example you don't need count or description then just hit step settings you will get a clean categories for this of this categories admin column then it, it is one of our exclusive feature for example let me show you how to customize this menu let me just type this is a dashboard you can see it's instantly changing and let's translate back end and you can also select icon from our rich icon library you can select dash icon or simple line icon 
if you like minimal then i recommend you to go with simple line icon or cleanify icon these icons are very minimal very minimal and perfect for your awesome dashboard let me select and what if you want to change all of this option home updates and notice just navigate to sub menu and change it what you need this is home you can see this is home it's everything changes instantly but make sure you have clicked on this save button otherwise you will lose your all customization then our activity logs you can track your each user or actions any type or the role and also on time for example i would like to see this week data just enter and everything will be available here what happens within this week okay that's all that's all about activity logs you can also delete your specific activity by clicking on this delete option and then navigate to our admin page just click on this at new area and i'm going to insert a new admin page up inside uh, this area inside dashboard okay let me just add a new one use dashboard this is just a test admin page and i'm going to select icon okay this one and then click on sub menu and then dashboard okay and hit publish and now let's over on this dashboard menu and you can see use dashboard it's a new page it's the admin page that we have just created and i'm just clicking on this one and let's see how actually it looks okay this is our use dashboard this is just a test device you can insert any shortcut or design this area with any page builder like elementor or any page popular page builder you like okay so that's overall about wp admin web plugin this all are the basic uses i just introduced you with the option panel so i hope you got a perfect idea on how to work with wp admin web if you face any problem about wp admin web feel free to comment here or get in touch with us via our support program or website like we will try our best to assist you to solve any problem regarding wp identify so thank you thank you for watching this video have a good day